We all know what mosquitoes are like and what it can do to you. But what if you found a giant Jumanji-like mosquito flying around your house? This is what happened to a resident from the city of Cordoba in the Argentine province. He quickly posted the picture of this giant mosquito next to a regular mosquito for comparison. He said, look at the size of the mosquito that just came in through my window. He came in like a champion, my mother panicked and sprayed it with rape. I haven't found anything similar online. Either it's Chernobyl's new evolution or I just found out that I am in Jumanji. One user said, the small one on the right side is Eids aegypti, and it can transmit dengue fever, yellow fever, or Zika. However, the enormous one on the left is Sorophora ciliata, and it cannot cause anything like that. According to insect expert Michael H. Rieskin, Sorophora ciliata, which are indigenous to the eastern United States usually, appear after flooding. This kind of mosquito is often called Galenopper mosquito because they can nip a gallon of your blood. All right, Felicia, thank you. And see these guys? They're called gallon nippers because they will nip a gallon of your blood. How big is the mosquito known as the galley nipper? It's such a big mosquito that when it lands on you, it really, uh, it lets you know just because it practically breaks your arm when it lands on you. <laughs> At least three times as big as the next biggest Florida mosquito. And if it bites you? Once they start drilling, you can tell they're... They're, they're biting you. That's just how painful they are. These sample galley nippers are brittle and dried up and not so imposing. But when live ones swarm, the panicked calls start coming in here to mosquito control. Occasionally we'll get phone calls from uh, some of the elementary schools and uh, they'll be chasing around the yards. Uh, the children. Chasing the children around the yards. A mosquito so terrifying that children run in horror? Luckily, the galley nipper is only found in the western, more flood-prone parts of the county, and then only in the rainy season. And we're probably fortunate that it doesn't occur in large numbers, or else it'll probably be starting to tote off some of our tourists. Like many Florida mosquitoes, it takes a real freeze to kill off a galley nipper. They can even lay their eggs on the dry ground and have them lie dormant, unhatched for years, until the rainy season finally releases them. Well, they don't carry disease. That's probably the biggest thing to be uh, happy about. Need more reassurance? Like Frankenstein's monster, it's hard for a galley nipper to sneak up on you. They rarely even start drilling before you're swatting them away because they're so big and they're clumsy and they're going to give themselves away by how big they are. He said, their bite can cause significant pain, but they do not usually carry disease. Because of this, they apparently only pose a risk to those who are allergic. However, while some people have identified the mosquito as Sorophora ciliata, it has not been confirmed whether this is the case. So what do you think? And there you have it, my name is Bob, and thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our new channel.